Good morning. Happy Monday to my crew. I hope you had a good weekend and are looking forward to another exciting week. This week we've got a lot to look forward to. So before we get going, I just want to, as always, remind you that your priorities should be English and math, especially I ready. As teachers, we were talking and if all you do is I ready for the whole week, that's better than a lot of other things you could do. So focus on your reading and math, especially your eye ready, and all of the class materials that you'll have. Now let's get going and hear the rest of your specific assignments for the week. All right, seventh graders. So to start with math, you will, as I said, need to make sure you're doing your 45 minutes of eye ready. Additionally, you'll want to do ready math instruction pages 182 to 187 and ready math practice pages 195 to 198. Not too many pages at all. That's really easy to get done. Make sure that you're going to your homework helps every day, 1030 to 1115 if you need them, and that you're using the resources in your Google Classroom. For ELA, you also need to do your iReady minutes. Get those done, 45 minutes. And there's going to be a book hangout with Miss Harris on Tuesday from 11.30 to 12.30. This is when you can ask any questions that she can answer. Um, you'll be listening along. Miss Harris will be reading the book as chosen by some of your classmates. Heck, where the bad kids go. So log in and follow along. Now for writing this week, you are going to be writing a story. It can be fiction or it can be nonfiction. The most important part is that you use some of the vocabulary words that you find in your Google Classroom. There's going to be a list of 10 vocabulary words in the classroom and she wants you to use at least five. They want you to choose at least five. Um, if you don't know how to get started, there are writing prompts in the classroom, but you don't necessarily have to use them. And the stories can be handwritten, typed, just send them in. For science, this week you're going to choose a disease to research that affects different systems and organs in your bodies. There's some options that she's suggesting such as cardiovascular disease, celiac disease, asthma, or you can come up with your own disease. And yes, you could even study the coronavirus. That one might be a little tricky since we're still learning a lot about it, but that's what we're all doing. So you can be part of the scientists of the world right now. And find all of the specific directions in your Google Classroom, as well as some fun Earth Day activities. I love Earth Day. It's one of my favorite holidays, so check those out. For social studies, you are going to visit a virtual museum. There's a lot that Mr. Stanley has included in um, as options, both in the email and in your Google Classroom, such as the British Museum, the Smithsonian, the Louvre, and the Natural Women's His History Museum. Um, if you do the Louvre, I would love to hear your thoughts, okay? Um, you'll need to go to at least one exhibit and write a minimum of three sentences. He gives a lot of examples, such as what was the exhibit? What year was it made? Why was it interesting? Why was it important? So have fun. The museums online are really cool. Spend some time exploring. For PE, continue to stay healthy. Make sure you're doing your hour of up daily or 45 minutes a week just get out there get active i'm trying to do it too if you can't go outside do things inside just stay healthy stay active especially since we're all cooped up for art this week you're starting a new project after you do your daily sketchbook you're going to be doing something called different distance drawing I want you to go outside with paper, your sketchbook, pencil, what have you, and you're going to draw a total of six things. Two things that you can draw very close, like a flower or a leaf. Two things that you can draw from a medium distance, like a house or a tree. And two things that you can only draw from very far away, like the mountains or the clouds. I want you to try drawing it as accurately as possible. And then I want you to write two sentences about the differences you notice in each type of drawing. That's two sentences, not six. I just want to know what types are easier, what details are good to copy, things like that. And I'm also going to have in your Google Classroom an optional science experiment for you to try where you can make your own watercolors. Now for CCR, you are going to 
continue researching the clubs that you researched last week so that you can create a presentation. You'll need to include in your research presentation how do you join the club, why are you interested in the club, and how can this particular club help you after high school. Additionally, um, Miss Golding will be doing a live stream of her showing you some talents and skills and she'll have a link of, for that in the Google Classroom so check into that okay this week we'll be having crew every day Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday at 9 a.m. and we'll be doing our greeting reading initiative and hanging out so I'm excited to see you tomorrow see you in crew